Good morning, welcome to Relevant News. Today is March 20th, 2014. More posturing from the United States regarding Russia's move in the Ukraine. Issuing an outright warning to Moscow, Vice President Joe Biden declared Wednesday that the United States will respond to any aggression against its NATO allies as Russian neighbors looked warily to the escalating crisis in nearby Ukraine. Standing side by side with a pair of Baltic leaders in Vilnius, Lithuania, Biden said the U.S. was absolutely committed to defending its allies, adding that President Obama plans to seek concrete commitments from NATO members to ensure that the alliance can safeguard its collective security. In a jab at Russia, he said the United States resolutely with Baltic states in support of the Ukraine people against Russian aggression. Australian Prime Minister says they may have discovered some objects for a satellite to the missing Malaysian flight. Search and rescue teams are on their way to a remote location four hours from Australia coast after a satellite spotted two objects that could possibly be linked to missing flight MH370. One of the pieces of subjected debris could be as long as 24 meters. This is a lead, probably the best lead we have right now, said John Young of the Australian Maritime Safety Authority but we need to get there and find them to see. With Syria strikes, Israel sending a message to Assad, rain in the Hezbollah. Israel launched airstrikes on Wednesday against Syria military sites in response to roadside bombing that wounded four of its soldiers. Both sides signaled they were not seeking further escalation. The Syrian army, embroiled in the civil war, said one soldier was killed, seven were wounded in the air raids on three targets. Although Damascus condemned the Israel attacks, it stopped short of any direct threat of retaliation and affirmed its focus on defending insurgents. Israel, by announcing air raids, as opposed to its official silence about post strikes on the arms from Syria, believed destined for the Hezbollah guerrillas appeared intent on delivering a message of deterrence to President Assad. Our policy is clear. We hurt those who hurt us, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu told his cabinet in public remarks.